Facial pain is a term referring to a collection of chronic neuropathic pain conditions. They include trigeminal neuralgia, geniculate neuralgia, anesthesia dolorosa, cluster headache, paroxysmal hemicrania, and many lesser known conditions. These conditions cause excruciating pain to the face. They are the most painful conditions known to modern medicine. They are exceedingly rare conditions. It is estimated that only 10 to 20 people per 100,000 are diagnosed with facial pain annually. It strikes men and women, adults and children. I'm 60. Six years old. 41 years old. 46 years old. I'm 25 years old. I am 15 years old. I am 13 years old. I am 11 years old. Many facial pain warriors have had brain surgery in an attempt to relieve their pain. What kind of pain would lead someone to such extremes? Terrible pain. I get it in my teeth. I have it in my jaw, my sinuses. Now I have it in my eyes. It feels as though you're being branded or burned, scorched with an iron. That was just a new kind of torture that I would just never imagine would even be possible without the actual physical damage taking place. Getting a proper facial pain diagnosis can be extremely challenging. I was misdiagnosed with TMJ, root canal cavities, tooth sensitivity, headaches, migraines, hormonal imbalance, sinusitis, ear infections, eye infections, you name it. It took me two years to get a diagnosis. It took me three years to get a diagnosis, and before that, I was diagnosed with basically being a wimp. I had tubes placed in my ears. Um, I was given antibiotics over and over and over again for ear infections that did not exist. My doctor at first was very kind, very willing to help me. When it didn't work, he gave up on me. Not only is there no cure for these conditions, there is no drug that is effective against them over time. Carbitrol. Clonacin. Cymbalta. Dilantin. Dilaudid. Furacet. Gabapentin. Ketamine. Clonopin. Lortab. Lyrica. Morphine. Nortriptyline. Oxycodone. Percocet. Prednisone. Tegretol, Tobamax, Toradol, Tramadol, Valium, Vicodin, Xanax, Xanaflex. The side effects from these medications are too many to list. For a person with facial pain, no aspect of life is untouched. The conditions separate their lives into two parts, before facial pain and after facial pain. Before TN, I was a data and voice networking consultant. Before TN, I was um, enjoying life. Before TN, I was a physically active mom of two children. Before TN, I was a competitive basketball player. I had to quit playing basketball, which I miss very much. Sometimes I have to cancel my plans. You have anxiety attacks trying to go out and do something because you never quite know what's going to happen and what you're going to do. I've had days, I've had weeks, I've had months, up to three months where I couldn't even get out of bed because the pain was so severe. I definitely had suicidal thoughts many, many, many times. Makes it a little difficult because uh, I don't go anywhere without having pain meds and water on me in case I have a flare. This illness has taken my life from me and turned it upside down. I lost my job. I had to stop uh, proceedings for child adoption. It it destroyed who I was. It destroyed me. This is reality for facial pain patients. Like all warriors, they keep fighting, hoping for a cure. I really hope a cure is found soon so people won't have to suffer like I am. But I'm not gonna give up. That's my story in a nutshell. Please spread the word and help us find a cure. Find more information about facial pain at face-facts.org. October is Facial Pain Awareness Month. Find out more at facialpainawarenessmonth.org.